Okay, so on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the R4 Gold card um, for the Nintendo DS. Um, it also works for um, the 2DS and the 3DS. Um, so this is going to be done with the YS menu. Because sometimes this kernel um, doesn't work. So this is, um, this is going to be one that works every single time. Um, so here's a card here, 2024 Gold Pro. Um, it also came with this uh, USB uh, micro SD adapter. So this will basically work on any DS system. Um, I'm going to be supplying you um, all the files that I have on it in order to run. Because sometimes the kernel the, doesn't work very well for this thing. So thought I'd make a video. So um, let me put this in my DSi and I'll show you how it runs. Let's power it on. So there you go. It's going to be called um, Bomberman Land Nintendo, like like a game. So you got all, all you got to do is start it. Is either click it or press A. It should load right into it. This is a good sign. Um, so this won't be the theme that you're going to get, but this is the theme that I made. Um, all I did was convert the the images, so I made a like a Zelda a theme. Um, you won't be getting all these folders, but you'll be getting all the necessary folders. Um, so I'll basically show you. So you just create a, a games folder and a ROMs folder, or you can just create it on the directory itself. Uh, you can also create a folder for the emulators. So you can have a whole bunch of emulators, as you can see. I just have like seven or eight. Um... And then all, all the ROMs, you can have them in here, or you can just create a ROMs folder. Um, so for the DS games, um, you just press A on the games or wherever you have them. And then here's the games. I got uh, Mario Kart DS and then New, New Super Mario Bros. Um, this also has cheats and you can save the game. Um, so we'll just load up uh, Mario Kart quickly. Show you a little bit of gameplay and then we'll get on the computer and I'll show you all the files and what to transfer over to your SD card. So press A. It usually doesn't take too long when you load the game. So there you go. Load it up pretty quick. It loads a little bit faster once you already load the game. So there you go, the game's working perfectly. Um, you can load on the card as many games as it fits. So there you go. Um, now we'll get over um, on the PC. And I'll show you the files you have to transfer over to your uh, micro SD card. Okay, so now over on the PC. Um, this is the uh, download folder I'm going to be leaving in the description. Um, it'll, it'll be called YS Menu Firmware. And then this is all the files. All you got to do is uh, select them all and just drag them all to the root of your SD card. Um, then you should make a uh, games folder for all your um, DS ROMs. So we'll just name it DS ROMs or whatever you want to name it. Um, then you can create another folder uh, called emulators. And you can put all your emulators in there so it stays nice and organized. Um, so as of right now, um, this works perfectly. So like I said, I thought I'd make a video uh, if anybody's having trouble with the uh, 
are for our gold card. Uh, this will work 100%. Um, so I hope this helps somebody out. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.